Hi guys, today we are going to present sketching of uh, cubic and quartic graphs and it is going to be very very uh, interesting topic. Please uh, uh, watch my video carefully and there will be three examples and I'm going to solve them with the unique method. So let's start with the sketching of cubic graphs and quartic graphs here. Yeah? So let's start with example one. Here you go. See, uh, here is the question y is equal to x plus 1, x minus 1 and x minus 2. And I have already sketched cubic graph here. Okay. So, if you see there is a y is equal to x q graph. Right. And y is equal to minus x q graph here. So, this is the shape of the graph. Let's do um, our questions. What it? What is uh, this is chapter 4 of Ed Excel book. Uh, y is equal to x plus 1 and x minus 2. So if we put y is equal to 0, if we put y is equal to 0, then this whole thing will be 0. It means x plus 1, x minus 1 and x minus 2 equal to 0. Yeah. If it is equal to 0, it means x plus 1 equal to 0, x minus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. If we put x plus 1 equal to 0, we got x equal to minus 1. Here we got x is equal to 1. Here we got x is equal to 2. Okay, this is your first step. These points are called critical points here. Yeah? Minus 1, 1 and 2, they are called critical point here. Yeah? Critical point. So in my video, I'm going to write down CP in short. Yeah, so this is your first step. Second step, you just make bridge shape diagram so you will see what does uh, it mean like you arrange them on a number line in a order minus one one and two and let's make bridge shape diagram yeah that is your step two and step three answer will be there a sketching part will be there so let's take any number greater than two so our favorite number uh, i always take 10 so let's take any number greater than two that is 10 so if you put 10 here so 10 plus 1 becomes 11 10 minus 1 becomes uh, 9 and 10 minus 2 becomes 8. So if you multiply 11, 9 and 8, you will get positive. After that, you need to close your eyes, which you should not. I'm just telling you. Just follow blindly. It is plus. Then this will be minus. This will be plus. Then this will be minus. Now question comes why? Why it is follow blindly? So I will I will clear it in my next example. 90% cases they will follow blind. Uh, uh, you need to follow blindly, and 10% cases you need to check every single uh, these bridge shape diagrams, every single gap. Yeah. So I will show you in my next question how to identify this. Yeah. So it is following uh, alternate sign. Now third part is very easy part that is a sketching part so let's uh, sketch this diagram i have drawn it here yeah and uh, uh, let's write down here it is minus one and, and this will be one and let's extend this line and this will be two yeah so if you see my minus one one and two and i'm going to plot it so after two it is positive so definitely graph is going to start from here yeah and it is passing uh, let me rub this it is not clear so it is passing from mm, two. so it is uh, this is point two so it is coming here and passing two now between two and one it is negative so let's write down uh, here so that is negative you can see between one and minus one it is positive so one and minus one it is positive and then after minus one it is going down here yeah? now this cannot be maximum point here yeah? or this can be maximum point so you need to identify because minus one and one um, their middle number will be zero so definitely it, this is going to give you maximum point so to calculate this maximum point your sketching part is done to calculate this uh, maximum point so what you need to do what is zero here what is zero here on y axis what is zero that is x so if you put x is equal to zero here so you got one if you put zero here you got a, a minus one and here you got minus two so if you multiply minus two and minus one you will get two so this point are zero and two and this is your sketching done let's go for equation uh, sorry example two that is section two 
so here critical point that is your first step uh, x is equal to 0 here x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 second step you need to make bridge shape diagram yeah so let's arrange them in order minus 1 that is 0 and this is 2 and make bridge shape diagram okay so let's see take any number greater than 2 yes you are right so i'm going to take 10 so it is 10 if you take 10 here 10 plus 1 becomes 11 10 minus 2 becomes 8 so if you multiply you get positive follow blindly minus plus and minus yes next question i'm going to tell you when you need no need to so uh, it's done and let's do a sketching part so i'm doing a sketching part here okay so uh, there are two numbers that is minus one uh, and zero and two sorry three are uh, three numbers so from two if you see after two it is positive yeah so it is starting from top yeah and it is going between zero and two that is negative yeah sorry uh, negative and between zero and minus one it is positive and after minus one it is going negative yeah so this is your graph here this points will be zero zero so no need to mention that is done and uh, uh, let me rub this 10 11 and 8 okay let's go for next question if you see there are four points here so i have already taught you um, just need to code one example if you know how to prepare one cup of coffee then you can make 100 cup of coffee if you know the method because method and procedure remains the same so first point is cp same method x plus 1 equal to 0 we got x is minus 1 we got here x is minus 2 we got here x is 1 and x is minus 3 yeah let's make bridge shape diagram so let's make so uh, this is uh, minus 3 okay sorry this is 3 let me rub this okay so you need to follow order so this is minus 3 then minus 2 then minus 1 and then 1 let's make bridge shape diagram so bridge shape diagram is like this okay so take any number greater than 1 so uh, let's take 10 so if you put 10 here 10 plus 1 11 10 plus 2 becomes uh, uh, 12 and 10 minus 1 becomes 9 okay and 10 plus 2 becomes 13 so if you multiply you will get positive yeah so again this is positive negative positive negative and positive yeah let's sketch the curve so i'm going to sketch this curve here okay write down all the points so let's write down so this is uh, uh, minus 3 then this is minus 2 this is minus 1 and this is 1 yeah so after 1 it is positive right so it is starting from here positive side between 1 and minus 1 it is negative so let's do it like this okay and between one and minus between minus one and minus two it is positive then minus three and minus two is negative and then after minus three it is going in this direction yeah okay so we can always calculate so this point will be midpoint of minus one and minus two so you no need to calculate you just sketch it if point is intersecting here then you can calculate so this is quartic graph here yeah? so uh, you we don't want this so let's rub it okay now next question is here you need to be very very careful that is x minus 1 and x plus 1 is square so if you notice here here one is square is coming that is quadratic here so and this x minus 1 is making it cubic so x plus 1 is square means if you calculate if you write down so this will be x minus 1 and this will be x plus 1 and this will be x plus 1 so if you find critical point here that is cp so that is x is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 so these two points are overlapping so when points are overlapping you are going to check every single uh, this bridge shape diagram yeah so this is minus 1 and 1 what i mean to say i will show you here okay 
so this we have made so take any number greater than 1 so let's take 10 so if you put 10 here so 10 minus 1 becomes 9 and 10 plus 1 becomes 11 and 11 is square times 9 so it is positive yeah so this is positive now let's put x is equal to uh, minus 1 if you put minus 1 here so then this will be uh, minus 1 and minus 1 that is minus 2 yeah okay uh, uh, sorry about that if we uh, let me rub this because we need to take number between minus 1 and 1 yeah so minus 1 and 1 let's take 0 so if you put 0 here so you got uh, you are getting minus 1 and you're getting 1 square so result is negative yeah so let's write down negative so now any number less than minus 1 so let's take minus 2 so if we take minus 2 here less than minus 1 number so minus 2 and minus 1 becomes minus 3 okay and uh, minus 2 and plus 1 becomes minus 1 and minus 1 is square okay so it will be positive and positive times negative it will be negative see here it is not following alternate sign reason is because it is a square so they are overlapping so when they are overlapping you are checking every single diagram now let's uh, do the sketching part so mm, this is minus one and this is one okay so after one it is uh, positive so let's start from here and one and minus one it is negative so it is going there and then after minus one it is negative again so it is turning like this and it is going down yeah and what about this point here so let's put uh, x is equal to zero so if we put x is equal to zero here okay so let's put x is equal to zero so, so it will be zero minus one is minus one and it will be one is square that is one so answer will be zero and minus one the coordinates of this point here so this is what we need to do today and that's all and we are going to do uh, uh, some exam style question in my next video please do not forget to subscribe it and see my next video for exam style questions based on cubic graph yeah thank you very much bye bye